let's say I have a function given by this. Okay, and I have been asked to find f inverse x. I have been asked to prove that the function is bijective, and then I have been asked to find f of inverse x. Now, to prove that the function is a bijective function, I need to first prove that the function is both one one and the function is an onto function. Let's prove that it's a one one function. Okay, f of x is this. What is f dash x? f dash x is two x square minus x to log two. I just differentiated this to two x minus one. You know that this is a increasing function. This is a constant which is positive, and if I have to have f dash x as positive, then x should be greater than half. Because if x is greater than half. Then this is positive. This is positive. This is all. This is always positive. So this is a positive quantity. Now, if f dash x is positive, that means what? f x is a strictly increasing function. Function. Now, since f x is a strictly increasing function, we know. That using the properties of one-one function, that if f x is a stri strictly increasing function, that f x is a one-one function. Now let's prove that it's an onto function. Now you know that since it's a strictly fun increasing function, the graph will be something increasing graph, something an increasing graph. Now, so you can say that if x lies between one to infinity. Since it's a strictly increasing function, f x lies between f of one to f of infinity. And what is f of one? You put one in this case, you'll get it's as one. f of infinity is infinity. So this is the range of the function. Now you can see that the range is equal to the codomain, so it's an onto function. So the function is both one and one. It's an onto function, so it's a bijective function. So we have proved that it's a bijective function. Now we need to find the inverse of this function. This is the function. I can write x square minus x as log y to the base two. So again, to find the inverse, I'll find x in terms of y. To find x in terms of y, I need to solve this quadratic. The solution to this quadratic is one plus minus one plus four log two y by two. Okay. Now you know that x is a positive quantity. It's always greater than one. So I can't have this negative sign. So I'll take only the positive sign. One plus one plus four log of two y by two. This is x, or this is f inverse y. Again, you know that y is equal to f of x. So x equals to f inverse y. So this is f inverse y. To find f inverse x, just replace y with x. So f inverse x is nothing. This where you replace this y with x. So this is the solution to this question. So this is how we covered our eighth question. Now we'll solve two more questions and we'll end this topic of functions. The next question is again a IIT JE question. The question was asked for two marks in the subjective paper of JE. The question you have been given this function g of x. You have been given this function f of x as minus x 
minus 1 when x is less than 0 it's 0 when x equals to 0 it's 1 when x is greater than 0 I'm asked to find what is f of gx okay now gx as you know is 1 plus x minus box of x I can write it as fractional part of x so if I properly look at this expression I know that fractional part of x is always lies between 0 and 1 excluding 1 so g of x will lie between 1 and 2 excluding 2 now so f of gx is equal to what this minus 1 if gx is less than 0 it's 0 if gx equals to 0 and it's 1 if gx is greater than 0 and from here I can see that gx always lies between 1 and 2 so gx is always greater than 0 so f of gx is 1 for all x so the range of f of g of x is 1 this was the ninth question we now move on to the last question the last question is again an ITJ problem where we are asked to find the number of surjections from A to B find the number of surjections from A to B where A is 4 and B is N. Now what surjection means, means is that how many onto functions we can find from A to B. Uh, now to say what is an onto function you know that range has to be equal to codomain. First let's look at how many functions we can find. Now you see that each of the element 1, 2, 3, 4 can either be associated with A or it can be associated with B. So this has two options, this also has two options, this also has two options, this also has two options. So we'll get altogether 16 functions from this, out of which two functions will be when all the four elements are only associated with A or, or the other case will be when all the four elements are associated with B. Those two cases are the cases when the function is not on two because the range in that case will be either A or B. So I need to exclude those two cases. So the answer is 14. We will get 14 surjection or 14 surjective functions from A to B. So that's how we end our discussion on this topic of functions.